very good so now let us move on to management of diabetic retinopathy in that you have three things that they have covered in the textbook screening investigations and treatment screening what they are saying is whenever you diagnose a person with type 1 diabetes mellitus five years after the diagnosis of type 1 you will check the eye but in type 2 diabetes at the time of diagnosis itself you will do the eye check or something then every year every six months every three months every two months based on what it is okay in pdr it is every two months okay in pdr it is every two months that much every two months you'll check the eye remember this okay now let us see what investigations are ordered guys focus we are moving on to investigation screening over every two months for pdr uh, keep checking the eye keep checking the eye and then coming to investigations investigations what are they saying typical glucose check okay urine exam blood exam then uh, 24 hour urinary protein renal function test lipid profile uh, then hemogram glycosylated hemoglobin you will check fundus fluoro angiography right again that comes and uh, eye checkup isn't it then um, optical coherence tomography oct so all that you have to write is investigations blood you will check urine you will check Hemo glycosylated hemoglobin you write lipid profile you write renal function test you write for eye you write fundus fluorescein angiography and oct optical uh, uh, coherence tomography so guys in management we are done with screening we are done with investigations now let us move on to treatment actual treatment if the person has got it now what to do so let's move on to treatment treatment is um, metabolic control of diabetes mellitus ask them to control 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 glycemia control dyslipidemia renal function test Control of anemia, control hypertension because diabetes, hypertension go hand in hand kind of a thing. They are trying to say control hypertension, lifestyle change, make them happy and fit and everything. Intravitreal anti-VEGF drugs. Now comes what they are actually giving us treatment. Are you seeing? Yeah. So you have to give anti-VEGF drugs, right? So that this uh, uh, neovascularization doesn't occur. Intravitreal, where are they giving it? Directly into the vitreous. Intravitreal, what are these drugs? Bevacizumab. Bevacizumab. Ranibizumab. MAB actually means monoclonal antibodies, right? So, what is VEGF? Vascular endothelial growth factor. And they are giving what? Monoclonal antibody. Okay. Well, hold on. See, in pharmacology, anything that has a zoo, is a human antibody and 5% mouse it seems. So this has some mouse content also. What is MAB? MAB is um, ending MAB. Monoclonal antibodies. Okay. Then what else do you have here? What other uh, terms do you see? Bivasi Zumab. Rani B Zumab. Anti-VEGF drugs. Okay. Then intravitreal steroids they are giving. Steroids also help. So this actually restores in inner retinal barrier and has some anti-VEGF effects also they are saying. What are they giving here? Try amcinolone you can remember. This is a steroid. So remember it can induce glaucoma, cataract, right, endophthalmitis, etc. So try amcinolone restores internal inner retinal barrier has some anti-VEGF effect also but it can cause glaucoma, cataract, etc. You should be very careful. Coming to laser guys. Now let us move on to laser. In laser, Focal laser, you should know this, photocoagulation. So what they are doing here, they have some focal laser grid also they have for diffuse. Let's see this photo, you may understand. The first one is um, focal treatment. This one is grid. This one is pan retinal photocoagulation. This is focal, looks like only here they are doing something. And this is grid. Okay. And this one is pan retinal photocoagulation. So these three words you'll have to write. Okay. So laser therapy, macular photocoagulation. Macular means they have focal uh, and grid. So both of these are coming under macular. The first two are coming under macular. Pan retinal looks like entire retina kind of a thing. PRP. So this one is macular, right? Macular. Around the macula, what they're doing? You can either do focal or grid, and then pan retinal. So what are they using here? They are using some double frequency YAG laser or argon la green laser or diode laser. Okay. Macular photocoagulation. You have focal. It is the treatment of choice for focal DME. So if there is focal uh, diabetic macular edema, they will do focal photocoagulation. This grid one, they don't seem to be very happy. It's considered only for recalcitrant cases. 
okay not responding to anti vegfs and intravitreal steroids panretinal photocoagulation scatter laser okay it has some 1200 or you said 1200 to 1600 spots wow scatter laser okay so these lasers are applied outside the temporal arcades and on the nasal side one disc diameter from the disc up to the equator the burns should be one burn width apart so one burn width apart it should be so whatever they saying the laser burns are applied outside the temperate arcades okay outside the temporal arcades and on nasal side this is nasal side right nasal side one disc diameter from the disc up to the equator so one disc diameter from the disc up to the equator here they are doing up outside the temporal arcade so here they are doing outside the temporal arcade here they are doing one disc size okay that kind of makes sense so that's nice guys if you want to remember the pan retinal photocoagulation draw like this like this leave this part as empty okay here nicely you can show some dots everywhere you can show dots here it will be one disc on the nasal side one disc size or something so that is the panretinal photocoagulation then you have surgical what is surgical as before that if somebody says prp it is panretinal photocoagulation okay surgical treatment let us look so surgical they are talking about pars plana vitrectomy if it is tractional diabetic um, macular edema with npdr then if it becomes advanced pdr they are talking about the same pars plana vitrectomy along with removal of opaque vitreous gel and endo photocoagulation okay then they are saying this advanced pdr with extensive fibrovascular retinal membrane should be treated with same ppv endophotocoagulation but here removal of fibrovascular epiretinal membrane so if the membrane is there right epiretinal membrane then you remove the membrane as simple as that then they are talking if there is a tractional retinal detachment attach the retina which has got detached and you know how to attach the retina back how steril buckling tamponade etc right that and all you have already studied in retinal detachment so in this video what did we look at we looked at the treatment of um, management and treatment of diabetic retinopathy so screening you will do and um, investigations what and all you will check urine blood the uh, glycosylated hemoglobin renal function test lipid profile fundus fluorescein angiography oct treatment we saw in treatment you have um, metabolic control of diabetes uh, tell them to control their sugar lipid the dyslipidemia renal function test anemia control hypertension control be happy in life lifestyle changes intravitreal uh, drugs uh, anti vegf drugs you should say very important biva c zumab rani b zumab then intravitreal steroids like tram try am c no loan this uh, how does it help it has some vegf um, anti vegf effect and it also restores the inter, inner retinal barrier but it can cause glaucoma cataract endophthalmitis etc laser therapy we saw here what did we see focal grid and uh, pan retinal prp then surgical surgical what did we see pars plana vitrectomy endophotocoagulation remove that uh, epiretinal fibrovascular epiretinal membrane uh, reattach the retina if it is detached so that completes this video on uh, diabetic retinopathy treatment bye bye